The New York State Judiciary Committee in Albany will meet this morning on whether to begin the impeachment process against Governor Andrew Cuomo. Now, Cuomo could be the first New York governor impeached in more than 100 years. Last week, State Attorney General Letitia James released a detailed report that found that he had sexually harassed 11 women violating state and federal laws, and Cuomo has denied the accusations and is resisting calls for his resignation. Now, a majority of members of the Democrat-controlled New York State Assembly have said they favor removing Cuomo if he does not resign. Joining us this morning, we have Queens Assemblywoman Alicia Heinemann. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much, Bianca and Carrie. It's a so joy to be here. What do you think is expected to happen in Albany at this meeting today? What's going to come out of it? Well, I'm sure that the Judiciary Committee is still reviewing um, testimony and um, able to interview witnesses at this time. I do not believe that we'll have an answer um, on whether or not the information will be submitted to the General Assembly of the New York State Assembly. We heard over the weekend from the governor's lawyer who said that the attorney general's report was one-sided, that it was an ambush. In your opinion, is there anything at this point that the governor could introduce evidence-wise that could change your mind on how you feel that he should resign? Well, right now, all the information that will be presented to the assembly by the Judiciary Committee is what we will uh, judge at that time. Whatever the governor presents to the public is one thing, but what he presents to the Judiciary Committee, um, if he last Friday was his last chance to submit any testimony, and uh, to my knowledge, I don't know if he's done that or not. Now, I said, little woman, uh, I know that you recently invited Lieutenant Governor down to the city to meet with the National Organization of Black Elected Legislative Women. I think she sent two messages. One was riding the subway here. The second one, she was wearing a hat that said, fight like a girl. You talked to her, you chatted with her face to face. Is she fully expecting that she's going to be stepping in for Governor Cuomo very soon? At no time did she ever say that that was um, going to happen. She just was there for the day to meet these legislators from around the country, and she acted in her capacity as a lieutenant governor at that time. And then uh, talking to me about this impeachment process, assuming that this passes in the assembly, you move on to impeachment court some of the highest judges in, in uh, New York State, some of them appointed by Governor Cuomo. So are you maybe a little bit worried as to how this will work out when you have these judges that have this connection to the governor? Well, I believe that the judges have the ability to be impartial and they will be able to review the evidence presented to them uh, um, by the assembly through the Senate at that time. They are judges for the state of New York, um, some of the highest, as you said, and I believe they have the ability to um, weigh all the evidence and make a determination that's best on behalf of New Yorkers. Many people around the governor have called for him to resign over the weekend. One of his closest aides uh, just stepped down herself. Are you surprised that the governor is still in office that he has not stepped down? No, I'm not surprised, uh, even though that his closest aide has stepped down. She also has the she could also still be subpoenaed by the Judiciary Committee to present uh, testimony. So that does not remove her from um, presenting evidence to the uh, committee. What's your reaction to the way this has all played out from the Attorney General's report coming out to where we are now? Is there anything that has surprised you about how this has all played out? Uh, nothing has surprised me. I think that this is politics in New York State. and. Um, you know, while, while the information came out on Tuesday, I was totally consumed with fielding uh, questions from my constituents as well as the general public. Um, nothing has surprised me at this time. We just have to wait and see what the Judici Judiciary Committee presents to the Assembly, and we're hoping that will be very soon. I mean, going back to something you said, you said you're not surprised that he has not left office. Can you explain why you think that is? Does this speak to his character? Is this something that you've seen that this is you're not surprised by? No, I think, well, something that you just said, um, this is the governor of New York State. He has commanded us through a pandemic, so I think he very, he has a strong personality. Um, I'm not surprised that he hasn't stepped down, but the process still continues throughout the assembly. Um, there are 150 members who are ready, willing, and able to review the information once the Judiciary Committee presents that to us. And speaking about him possibly stepping down, you will probably know he said maybe not today. So we, can we expect some of this to be cleared up within the next week? 
Um, I know we would both hope that that would yeah. happen, but I don't see this being cleared up in the next week mm. because, the, as you said, the Judiciary Committee meets today. I'm not sure how much information is going to be presented to them to review, so I, I would like it to be as soon as possible. Do I think it will end this week? I do not. Governor Cuomo seems to be really fighting these allegations. He has not stepped down. Is there any way that you see this, that he could potentially weather this political storm? Well, as, uh, as I said, anything is possible in this state when it comes to politics, as we've seen with previous, um, previous members of the executive office. So um, we'll just have to as New Yorkers wait this out. And in the meantime, we have work to do uh, as assembly members throughout the state of New York. All right, Queens Assemblywoman Alicia Hindman, thank you so much for being with us this morning and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you.